How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these updates to the Toyota Sequoia. That's because I've been super busy with a few other things. You may have noticed on my YouTube channel that I've been working on some FPV videos. And then the main thing over the past couple weeks is I've been helping my brother with his car. That was a big project. It took us about like two weeks. We're not completely done, but um, we've been spending a lot of time putting in a lot of hours. Uh, working on that and there's actually going to be a video coming about that soon it's not going to be like the traditional video for my channel but we thought it might be helpful to some people so I decided to make a video about it and we were thinking it might be a fun memory to look back and uh, be able to watch that that'll be coming soon probably after this video drops um, just waiting for one part so we can get the car finished um, and then that video will be up uh, what else happened let's see oh this thing is insanely loud now Basically one morning I woke up and was headed to work, um, started the car and it was just insanely loud and I was like, man, like it actually actually sounds kind of nice. And then and then instantly I was like, wait a minute, like this this isn't my Subaru, this is this is the Sequoia, it's not supposed to sound like this. Basically the catalytic converter got stolen. Um, that's pretty much immediately what I expected and sure enough when I jumped down there, uh, just the whole thing was cut off. So that's been kind of a pain to deal with. Trying to go through some options, whether or not I should try and get the OEM Toyota catalytic converter, which is insanely expensive, or just pick up like a cheaper option. I think I'm leaning towards just getting like a cheap one, something that um, quiets it back down and fixes the check engine light. So that's kind of what's been going on. Um, but today I'm jumping back into the build. Uh, I've just been planning out some things, but basically trying to build a clothes dresser right here. Um, but then I also want a little compartment for like a jug of water and an area just to like kind of have like some cosmetic stuff. So I kind of have like a, almost like a bathroom, ba bath bathroom, I guess. I don't know, it's just an area where I can like easily like get water to brush my teeth or fill up or uh, whatever it might be. So that's what I'm working on today. Um, just going over some of the old wood that I have from building the frame and drawers um, and trying to figure out what I can make work with what I have and what I might need to get from Home Depot. Um, so that's kind of the plan, trying to get that built today. So I'll uh, take you guys along with me as I get that done. All right. I just got back from Home Depot, just picked up a couple extra uh, two foot by four foot pieces of plywood and some uh, just some random hardware here that I'm gonna need. Um, hopefully got everything, but uh, if not, I can always run back there. I'll show you guys, this is the kind of the general idea. Basically it's gonna sit right here and it's gonna be an area for me to put clothes and jackets and um, all of that stuff just to kind of like have a permanent location uh i know lots of people put them in these drawers down here but i'm gonna have this drawer for all of my uh photo video of drone all that equipment um plan to leave this drawer for food and uh, cooking supplies plates all of that so the only other place i could really fit clothes um was up here so it's already just past four o'clock uh, i'm kind of getting a late start on it today but uh, I'm gonna see if I can get started and uh, make some progress on this. There are a whole bunch of different pieces I need to cut. I kind of tried to draw an outline of the pieces. The first thing I'm going to cut is the bottom and top of this big, uh, I guess you could call it a dresser. It's gonna be four feet in length and one foot in width. So what I'm using is a two foot by four foot piece of plywood, half an inch thick. It's already four feet long, so uh, the only cut I have to make is uh, trimming it to one foot. That sounds like the Sequoia right now. That's gonna kind of be the size of the dresser. That's gonna be the bottom piece. The other piece I just cut will go on top. This 
piece is one foot by two foot and it's going to be one of the sides to the dresser. With one side done, um, I'm gonna make the exact same cut, make a duplicate piece, and that's gonna be the other side of the dresser. Here's the other side piece, um, identical to the other, one foot by two foot. I just used some leftover, um, I think it was from two by four, two by 10 or something, but I basically cut these little blocks um, and I'm planning to position these like so. That way, when I'm mounting the sides, I kind of have something to drill into. So I'm gonna start by getting these mounted to the bottom. Um, and then from there, I can put up the sides and the back. Instead of drilling into this piece of plywood, since it's only a half inch thick and pretty skinny, um, I can drill into these bigger blocks and these blocks will be locked to the board since we drilled into them from below. So, um, that's the plan. This is what it looks like so far. All right, I just cut this piece um, to 12 inches by 23.5. Um, shoot, I don't know if it'll stand up here. I'm then going to cut some shelves just to split this in half. I got some of these for the shelves, so I'm planning to just put two on each side and then uh, the shelves should sit under nicely and be supported, so. Completely forgot, um, but I just did it now. I took an inch off of this middle piece, so it's actually only 11 inches wide. That leaves an inch there, and that's going to be where uh, some of these like covers to the dresser are gonna be. Um, it'll make more sense once I show you guys, but here's an update. Basically, I'm testing these kind of like slots for a couple of like covers for the drawers that are gonna slide on this piece. Before I basically have to take this whole drawer apart because I didn't think through enough that I wasn't gonna be able to cut these slots with everything assembled. So this is all gonna have to come apart, unfortunately. But then basically there's gonna be two slots here. And um, these are gonna form the, the uh, kind of cover to the drawer. So I'm gonna cut this in half, this piece. Uh, one will be on the back slot and one will be on the front slot. And that way I can slide it back and forth to open the drawers um, and then they can both sit so it appears like it's closed when I'm not using it. I didn't want to use a uh, pull out drawer or anything because there's already not a lot of space in the back of the sequoia here and this way when I, I can open the drawer without it coming out into the bed. This is the setup I'm using. Basically I drew two black lines and that's where I'm going to make the cuts with this tool. I don't know what it's called, but basically it just makes a little slot um, with that rotating piece uh, right there. And then I use a two by four to measure out and use it as a guide so I can go straight along the edge like that. It's a little hard to use this tool. I've never used it before, uh, before today. It's okay, I don't think the lines have to be absolutely perfect as long as they just allow for it to slide. There you go, you can see the two tracks that I cut. Here's the view from this side. Sits right in there like that and slides. So, now that that's set up, um, I can start putting the drawer back together. Just kind of an idea of what it's going to look like. Nothing's attached, so I don't want to pull on it, but um, it's going to just be like that. I went ahead. While this whole thing was taken apart, uh, I also noticed that my um, these side pieces that I had cut earlier uh, were just half an inch too short, so they could sit here, but they weren't long enough to come and uh, sit flush with the back of it. 
it's not a huge deal um, it doesn't affect the performance really and this isn't going to be carrying much weight I like how it looks when it's, it sits flush and looks all clean and everything so I decided to um, take a extra sheet of 2x4 uh, 2 foot by 4 foot and cut some new end pieces um, that were just half an inch longer so little difference there uh, but I got those reinstalled and I like it a lot better now that it's sitting flush it looks a lot cleaner so trying to decide now if I want to put in the shelves next or um, put in this middle piece I think I'm going to kind of assemble everything on the inside first before putting on the top and the front I just put some um, of these L brackets in now I put four total um, not screwed them in but I was just test fitting it with a sheet of plywood on top there and that's what it looks like now so pretty sweet all right so here's with the top attached next step is to take this piece this is five millimeters thick so again it's a two foot by four foot piece of plywood um, and I'm gonna cut it directly in half and then that's gonna form the two sliding doors So this is how the dresser works. Um, you can see there's two of these um, kind of covers. And I'll put handles on these at some point, but for now, um, you can see you can just slide one and then you get access to this side and then you can move them over here if you want to. Um, get access to that side. And then, of course, when you're not using it, you can just keep it closed and uh, keeps it looking tidy. So with these pieces being in, um, I'm gonna call it a night tonight, it's almost 10.30, but I'll see you guys in the future um, when I'm gonna wrap this thing in carpet. So it's a couple days later now. It was a little rainy yesterday, so I didn't do any more work on the cabinet or the dresser, um, but here it is. The only thing I want to do now is I have a bunch of this leftover carpet. Um, this is the same stuff I used for the uh, the big bed frame um, and the inside of the drawers uh, that are already in the Sequoia. But I want to take that and just wrap this dresser in it. If you're wondering, I just got that stuff from Home Depot. It was like 20 bucks for like a six foot by eight foot roll, so it's pretty cheap. I was trying to decide if I wanted to do the doors, but I actually don't have enough. Um, so I'm just gonna leave them as wood. I don't mind that either. There, there she is. Um, pretty much got wrapped in carpet. Uh, so I'm gonna throw this in the Sequoia now and see what it looks like. You guys can see. This is what the drawer looks like. Or, I keep calling it a drawer, but it's really a dresser. Um, pretty good storage. And I'll show you guys again from the remote back. We'll have a good amount of room here. So there's enough room for this whole bed and everything. Um, but then also, for me to have some extra storage so it's pretty sweet that's exactly how i wanted it to be do you like it i think he likes it the next thing i'm doing is um i'm gonna make that little extra storage here on the end um basically there's gonna be a water jug that sits here uh with a little like spigot so that it should be pretty easy to get water and then on top i was just gonna have like a little uh storage for like cosmetic stuff. Can't, I can't make it unfortunately as tall as this one because uh, as you can see this piece comes down, gets in the way. So I'm, I'm gonna just test some things. Uh, I'm taking about 20 inches for the height. So this is kind of what's gonna look like at the end here. Right now, it's just gonna fall if I open it, but I've just got this opened. Um, it has one of these clips that goes into there on it. Um, and then the idea is that I can just clip it together and um, 
it prevents the water jug when it sits in here from like moving around and sliding out towards the back. Next I'm just going to put another layer of uh, shelf and then I'll have more more storage up on top. Alright guys, here it is. Um, it's definitely not the greatest thing. I kind of just winged the whole thing and just guessed on the measurements and you can definitely tell. Not the cleanest, but uh, I think it's going to work for what I need it to do. So basically um, I need to get another one of these that I have on here for the top one. But basically the top one's just going to be a little bit of storage for like, cosmetics and all of that stuff. Um, and then this bottom one is going to be storage for a big water jug that will hold the water in. So there's like the full set now. Um, I still need to find a way. I'll probably bolt this or screw this into the dresser and then attach all of it to the to the bed frame or something so it's not moving around and it's more permanent. Um, but there you can kind of see like the bed, the dresser. I got this now. Uh, the water storage, I still gotta get the water jug. Um, and then of course, if you've watched the other videos, you've seen the drawers. And which these, if you're new here and you haven't watched any of the other videos, these drawers pull out to pretty far. They're about six feet long. So this one's the smaller one. Uh, then this guy on the right is bigger, but uh, it's starting to all come together. And it's pretty, pretty cool to see this thing turned from just a standard SUV into like, oh wow, it's actually starting to look like a camper now. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I'm gonna see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll have like the water jug and uh, some of these other things set up, but um, that was pretty much what I wanted to do, just getting the dresser and then this little end piece. So thanks again for watching, really appreciate it. If you guys could like and subscribe, it's completely free and it really helps me out. Um, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.